Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have something really nice for you. I promised you I was going to do a demo and follow step by step what I had shown you about contouring yesterday. Well, on my website, I leave the um, URL in the description box. I have copies of this for everybody and so that you can keep a reference of where you're supposed to put the contour and the highlighting. Then I also have this. This is a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do it. So the first one, only this is the blank one, and this is also available free for download. So I filled this out with the demo pencils. My, I'm choosing my lighting source, which is going to be the upper left. My undertone is the cream. Pencil 1 is light peach. Pencil 2 is peach beige. My blending pencil is going to be the light peach. I know this because you always go with the first, so that's an automatic. Pencil 3 is nectar. Pencil 4 is the highlighter. It's white. Then I move on to the contour. I go back to the highlight just to blend things up. And when I'm going to blend everything up, I'm going to go back to using pencil two because I've gotten darker. I don't want to use the lightest color. I'm going to use the second lightest and that's peach beige. Then I have empty for makeup. I haven't decided what makeup I'm going to put on her. And then my shadow is going to be indigo blue. What's nice about this is I also have an area for book. What book I'm doing this in. The name of the artist. And the page that I could be found. it can be found on. So if I make a skin that I really like, I just keep this. It's got, if you want to add more pencils in, it's got plenty of room for more pencils and notes and then a little place over here to test the pencil blend so this is also available for you yeah, it's all you need and you have all the instructions there I decided to go with this one to demo on because this was a little bit too small I know I had said I was going to do it on this but this is a little bit too small and I've determined she has a heart shaped face so I'm going to work on the heart shaped face and I'm going to do it just like this one we'll see you in a minute I got out my pencils and it says I choose my lighting source well it's sort of been chosen for me because they put the uh, shadow on the side so the light is coming from the upper left my undertone, I chose cream. Because that's going to give me a little bit of yellow. And I'm going to start working on that. You could only see it slightly. She's got a little yellow tinge. That's going to change because I'm going to add the second pencil, which is pencil one, and that's a light peach. Pencil number three is peach beige. I'm going to try to go very light, if not anything, on the two areas that it says here. There's a highlight here and a highlight there, and I know there's a highlight on the nose. So those are where I'm going to go very light.
next the instructions say to go over it again in light peach. Now, according to the instructions, I add nectar. Okay, now I know that nectar is going to go up here in the hairline. And it goes over here. That is the nectar. Now I get out my white. And this goes in the highlight areas, which will be right in the nose, chin, forehead. Then I go back to my contour colors, which is the burnt okra and this is where I have to put it on the cheeks and up here. white. I go over it again. And I let that all blend. Then I'm going back to the peach beige. And the 
peach beige should blend everything out. like that. She looks like she has a healthy glow. Okay, so after that, I put on her makeup. I have to see what I want to put on her. I was doodling today, so that's why some of her hair is done. She's not going to have blue hair, but Underneath uh, black hair, I'm going to do her hair in black. Underneath black hair is blue. So that's why it appears to be blue. And while you're looking at it, um, my larger highlights are going to be going over here and over here, going straight down. And that matches up with it coming from this side of the head. So that's all I'm going to say about the hair because this isn't a hair video. I'm doing the face. I decided on henna for the lips and uh, pink for the cheeks. Uh, there are plenty of other colors that I can use. In fact, rosy beige is a nice one. There's, there's plenty of colors, but I'm going to make the cheeks stick out a little bit. And I'm going to go with the pink. Very softly, just like regular makeup, you're going to blend that in to the apples of the cheeks. See how this is very stark? You can see the difference. Once I get the makeup on her face and I smooth everything else, her skin will be flawless. Hopefully. <laughs> you never know what can happen. Very lightly. As to not overdo it, I'm following the contour line just above it to the apples of her cheeks. Just giving her a fine blush. Okay, now I'm going to start on her lips. There are going to be three highlights in her lips. Over here, over here, and over here, which is less. Very gently bringing it in.
right where the mouth purses together, you're going to want this area dark. And in fact, I'm going to take two sharp dots. I'm going to make this part very dark and right here very dark. I'm barely touching the paper over here. I don't want to add too much. I just want to add depth. Especially when touching your paper with black. Now I'm going to go back to my contour color and right under the lip right here I just want to darken in this is the burnt okra Looking for my Posca now. I'm going to add a highlight over here and a little one over there. Okay, I know that looks like it's too much, but we're going to get rid of some of that. Just letting it dry. Now, we'll, while that's drying, we'll start talking about the eyes. First thing I want to do with her eyes is make sure that I get the eyelashes in really well. And I'm using the ultra fine Sharpie pen and my magnifying glass. Okay, I'm going to do a tapered stroke on the eyelashes, keeping them as fine as I can get them.
I don't have much in the choice of eye color. <laughs> I'm going to make it a little browner with some sienna brown. There's not much I can do with it because it was already coming in. And I'm going to add a little tiny bit of shadow. She's too young to wear heavy makeup. Just a drop. I'm going to add a little bit more red into it. I'm using raspberry. Really, whatever colors you like. good now I'm going to start thinking about shadow I wanted my shadow to be in indigo blue because I wanted to show you indigo blue on here I had somebody this week use it a little bit too much when you use indigo blue with your rosy beige and your rosy um, any of the rosy colors, you have to be very careful because blue will mix with that color and make her look like she's like dead, like turning blue dead. I only want a little bit of the blue here and in her hairline. Because her hair is standing out with blue now, it's not going to show as much. Blue normally simulates black, but since she's got blue in her hair, it's hard to tell. Um, I'm going to move on from the blue because I'm only putting touches of it on. And I'm going to go with my dark gray. I'm going to start out with my 50%. After my 50, I'll move on to the 90, and I'm actually going to shade in. This side of her face is definitely shadowed because the light's coming from this side. So.
Now I'm going to do a little bit more blending. My blending color now went to the peach beige. Um, it's pencil number two, because if I was going to go back and do pencil number one, it would be too light. The light peach, we're already past light peach. going to use a 10% cool gray because her eyeballs are a little bit too white and I want to take them down a little bit. They're kind of unnaturally white now. And with my black pencil, I'm going to get very sharp. When we do eyes, I'll explain the steps way better and more, you know, closer up. But I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow with my black underneath the eyelash. And I'm going to brighten up her eye a bit. Okay, I'm going to keep working on it. Um, I'm using a 70% gray underneath the chin. See, I some don't like, sometimes don't like when they put in the shadows for me because I don't like the way he put the pencil marks in it. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of a shadow on the beads. Not too much. I've taken her as far as I want to take her right now because later on when I do my tutorial on age progression, I think I'm going to age progress her. So I'm going to leave her alone for right now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I followed this, uh, this to the letter exactly the way I mapped it out. 
and I really think that our beginners and our intermediates can uh, do this. So if you try it and you want me to take a look at it, just send me a picture and I'll give you some help. Take care. Bye-bye.